reusable actions and workflows if you are working with continuous integration and continuous deployment then many times you have to repeat same steps for your workflow either you are repeating same steps in a workflow or you are having similar workflows with different parameter for example for your deployment workflow you need to set up azure cli first then you need to set the authentication right then you need to set the other environment credentials and variables and then the actual process start and in the end you have to do the cleanup to solve this problem we have solutions like workflow template and composite action let's see what are these and how you can leverage them in your workflows hey friends welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is mayank and in this channel we explore the strategies and tools that are commonly used in devops let's see what is workflow template a workflow template is a pre-made workflow that you can use as a starting point for your own workflows templates can save you time and effort by providing you with basic structure that you can customize to fit your needs Workflow templates are defined in YAML files and can be stored in separate repository. This means that you can share them with other people or you reuse them in different projects. What are some of the benefits of using workflow templates in GitHub Actions? First of all, it saves time. You don't have to repeat all the steps again and again. You can just define a basic structure and then customize as it fits your needs. Increase consistency. Workflow templates can help you to ensure that your workflow are consistent and follow best practices. This means that you just have to write it once and then when you are reusing, you are following the standard practice. Improve collaboration. Workflow templates can make it easier to collaborate on workflows with other people. Reduces error. Since workflow templates are used again and again, it reduces the chance of error because it is well tested and documented. Let's see an example. So here I have my main workflow and I am using it to run some commands. And in this step, I am using a workflow template. And this is how you can call your workflow. First here is the GitHub repository name and then the path, which is present in the workflows folder. And then if you have some custom inputs that you would like to provide, for example, in my case, the environment is dev and then the Dockerfile path and then the tag latest. And this is my template file. Here you can check the name and then I am triggering this workflow only on call, which means whenever another workflow call this template file, then it will run. There are no other triggers as of now. And for inputs, I have mentioned the environment, Dockerfile and tag as we have seen in the main dot workflow to mention the environment in the template you can use env key and then the variables that you want to save in the environment variables and then the main job and here you will follow a normal flow as you have for any other workflow file the runs on the steps and uses and all so this is how you define a template file. Now, what is a composite action? A composite action in GitHub Actions is a single action that can be used to run multiple other actions. This is useful for grouping together related tasks or for creating complex workflows. Composite actions are defined in a YAML file and are stored in the same repository as the workflow that uses them. This means they are, they are not reusable in other workflows, but they can be used to simplify and modularize your workflows. You can have inputs and outputs in composite action. Also, you can have nesting up to 10 layers, which means you can call another composite action inside a composite action. Let's see an example. So here in job 2, I am using a composite action. You can start the job normally and then in these steps while using the composite action 
you just need to name it anything that you like and in the uses you need to mention the file path where this action is present so i have mentioned github actions docker build and this path contains a file action.yaml and i am passing these parameters as inputs one thing to note here is you just need to mention the path of the folder you don't need to mention the actions file because github is expecting a file called action.yaml inside this folder and when i open this file i can see that there is this docker bit the inputs as we have described there and here i have to mention using composite and then i can define the steps so using this way you can use this action in an other workflows in the same repository and you can pass different parameters as you need just like we have inputs here we can also set outputs so those outputs will be used in another steps of the main workflow so what is the difference between template and composite action template can be called from another repo but you can't call composite action from another repo another thing is nesting is not allowed in template but you can call another action from one composite action so you can choose what's best for you or a combination of both and then you can avoid those repeatable steps and make your workflow efficient if you find this video helpful please press the like button this will motivate me in making more such content i will share the document link in the description do check it out and if you have any questions let me know in the comments thank you